Welcome in today to a night game at Georgia Southern. Your UL Monroe Warhawks have a chance of getting a victory today. They need to win this game. They cannot afford to have a loss against a one-win team if they want to have any shot at becoming bowl eligible. This team is about even with us, so it's a game that we should be able to come in and play well. As long as we don't have turnovers, I think we'll be okay. As that's a solid return. Starting quarterback JC French has been okay for the Eagles. Not great. From the gun, French is going to look to pass here. That should be a pick to open up the day. I don't know how we didn't get that with Blades. French from the gun looking to pass here. We're not getting any pressure on him, but that's a nice play. Forcing an incompletion. Just realized I accidentally had my face cam off. Sorry about that. Third and ten here. See if we can get pressure on French. We sure do. He stops, and down he goes. Big sack there. Sean Washington. We get a stop. Don Baumhauer remains your starting quarterback, but like we talked about at the end of the last episode, there's a chance he could lose his job if he doesn't play well to Tyler Thorne. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Thorne, I feel like if we keep turning the ball over, we can't afford to keep marching him out there. As Baumhauer put a nice throw there that's dropped. Are you kidding me? Well, that's a big mistake, so we're going to throw it, and that's going to be Wiley dropping it. Come on. I'm pretty aggressive. Normally, I'd want to go for it, but it's early, and we need this victory. I want to reach bowl eligibility this year with this team, and I, this is a game we have to win. We haven't seen the Eagles run the ball at all. It looks like they're going to use some motion, and there they go. They go to their halfback. That's McGuire, who's a true freshman, 65 overall, and that's a nice run first down. These no-huddle teams are a bit of a pain to play against, man. So I'm not going to lie to you. That's a nice tackle. Second and 11 here. French looking to pass. Derisaw got a little pressure. He goes underneath to his tight end. That's a nice play. That's going to bring up third down and four here. Let's see if we can get some pressure. We can't, and we can't cover him. O'Malley got burned. I expected a little bit more out of him there as French goes underneath. O'Malley can't make the tackle. Second and four here. They're going to hand it off. We got to make that tackle. Nice play, O'Malley. This might be risky, but we're going to send some pressure at him. Is that... I think it worked. It's fourth and inches. Let's see if they go for it. We're going to bring a little bit of pressure at him just in case they decide to run it or something. He barely got that bun away. First and 10. We're going to go to Bennett Galloway up the middle. Galloway with a little bit of space. Nice run. Freshman quarterback Tyler Thorne checks into the game. He's going to go and still hand it off to Bennett Galloway, who does not find a lot of space. That's going to bring up third down and five here. We're going to go to Basley, and that's nearly picked. Nice play by Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern takes over right around midfield. They have really good field position. McGuire is going to break that tackle and pick up four. That's a tough run. Third down and four here. They're going to throw it quick, and they toasted us off the line. Travis Blades can't make the tackle, and that's a touchdown. That's not good, man. We're already in a hole here today. We got to play better. We can't lose to this team. First and ten. Hit play action. We're going to go underneath. We got him. Nice play right there to press. Second and short here. Let's go to our ground game. That's Galloway finding a little bit of space first down. First and 10 here for Baumhauer looking to pass. We're going to take a deep shot. I think we might be able to win with Galloway, and we sure do. Nice play on the wheel route first down, Warhawks. Second and 10 looking to pass here. We're going to go out there. I think we got him. Nice completion. Caleb Gross first down. First and 10, Don Baumhauer looking to pass. He's going to step up and take a sack. I tried to run with him. Second and long here. We're going to go to our ground game, and we had nothing there. Nothing at all. Third and 15. I'd at least like to get in better field goal range, as we can't get the pass out in time. We had Baisley coming open. 74 kick power is going to be the biggest problem here. Let's see if we got enough leg. We did, and it's going to go wide left. We missed it. Are you kidding me, man? That's horrible. There's on the move, and that's going to be a first down. Really frustrated here. We send a blitz, and we hit him in the backfield. Nice play, Cole Higgs. Third down and long here for the Eagles. It's a screen. Can we get out there with Derisaw? I don't think we can. But it doesn't matter. We get the stop. Tyler Thorne out here on the field for this drive. They're going to go to Bennett Galloway. He finds some space. Thorne remains in the game here. We're going to go to the ground game. I thought we had some space. He found nothing, really. That's going to end your first quarter. We're trailing, and we're backed up on third down. We got to play better. We need this victory to reach bowl eligibility. I'm not sure we can do it without this one, and we just haven't played well on offense. Third down and four here to begin the quarter. We're going to go quick underneath. That's going to be a completion. That's J.J. Harrell down the seam. First down. 
That's exactly what we needed here as we go to our ground game. That's Lester Iverson picking up a couple. Second and seven under center, looking to take a shot. I think we got him. He can win on that completion. Caleb Gross, first down. Sticking it on the ground here. That's Lester Iverson picking his way through. Nice run, gain of seven. Bennett Galloway checks into the game. He's going to get a carry here. And Bennett Galloway finds some space and spins off and gets the first down. Iverson back in the game here, and we get beat at the line immediately. And Iverson just got hurt. That could be a big loss for us. We depend upon him. It's going to bring up second and long as we're looking to pass. Let's go underneath, hit our tight end, and Hendricks picks up just two. Iverson bruised his shoulder. Let's go ahead and keep him out. We're going to look to pass here. It's just going to be a little screen out there, and we don't have any blockers over there. We lose yardage. 44-yard field goal this time. Let's see if we can hit it. Kicks up. Pretty good power. And we sneak it in. We're on the board finally. 7-3. to three. We barely got that one in. I got to get better at kicking again. This should be a one-point ball game as they take over. But that missed field goal earlier still is going to hurt us as that's a nice completion out into the flats. Tyler Woodard, the senior of safety, just got burned on that one. I can see why he left Mississippi State, man. He's struggling to keep up here at UL Monroe. He probably didn't belong playing in the SEC. As French is looking to pass, that's a check down that goes backwards. They lose everything they got. What a big play for us there. That's going to back him up to a third down in 10 and give us a great chance of stopping him. As they go to the ground game, and I wasn't prepared for that. First down. I already got. Got to do better here. They're going to go to their ground game. Stretch it out. McGuire's hitting the backfield. They lose three. Looking to pass now. French. Tucks a run. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, we couldn't hit him before he slid. Big third down and five here. They are going to pass. We got some coverage out there. He just threw it away. We got so lucky there. Big stop. We're going to get the ball back. They also want to apologize for the face cam here. I don't usually record midday, so it's a little bit bright in the background as we're looking to pass here. Oh, we threw that so late. Jumping in here later on. It's third down and eight. My daughter woke up, so I couldn't finish recording. We're going to go to Joe Baisley. I think he won, and we couldn't fit it in there. Georgia Southern takes over here. They're going to go to their ground game. That's McGuire hit, and he's bottled up. Short gain. And he got shaken up on the play, so we're going to see their backup, who's another true freshman. They've got Bynum, who I actually thought was their third string back out there on the field right now. He must be their receiving back. So they're going to throw that, and the tight end's wide open. French made a really good read there and got that first down for the Eagles. We got to get him bottled up. We can't allow any more points here. We can't lose this game. I want to get the bull eligibility as we miss that tackle. Come on, man. We got to do better. On right back to their ground game again. That's Bynum finding space up the middle. Dang, dude. French adjusting to the play. They're going to go play action. No. Yes. He dropped it. That's exactly what we needed. French is on the move. Feeling pressure. And down he goes. Austin Ackle with the sack. That's two weeks in a row he's gotten to the quarterback. Last week, he nearly made the play to get us back in that game as French is going to go underneath, complete it, knocked out of bounds, fourth down. They're going to line up for a field goal that kicks up, and it's right down the middle. That's going to give him a 10-7 lead. Baumauer looking to pass. Oh, no, that's going into coverage. Yeah, that's a pick. There he is, his one pick a game. This sets the Eagles up in great field position as they're going to be able to possibly get points and they're going to get a touchdown right here we're in trouble man we're not playing well with this team right now Don Baumhauer is cold we got to try to get him going here as we're going to look to keep using him out there that's a good pass to Caleb Gross first down we're in a two score hole here and we can't we can't keep doing this man we got to start getting better here Baumhauer's on the move and he hit that pass to a wide open Caleb Gross he sure can that's a big play why didn't he spin? I hit circle. We only got a minute 30 till, or a minute 40 till halftime, basically. So we're trying to make sure we get things going and get some points here. Ooh, that's a nice move by Kendricks. Big play first down. Stay in bounds, actually. Second and 10, looking to pass. We're going to go out there. Caleb Gross, easy completion. First down, down to the 10. He shrugged that tackle off, but he couldn't get away. It's first and goal here. We're going to run the clock a little bit. I don't want to give him any time to score. We're going to go to Galloway. He hit the gas there. That was a nice run. Second and goal. We're going to go back to Bennett Galloway. Bennett Galloway is in touchdown. That's what we needed. We only left him 29 seconds, so this should take us to half. However, I've only recorded for seven and a half minutes, and my daughter woke up again, so I'm not sure 
when I'm going to get back to finish this game, so we're going to be on try number three. All right, y'all, we're jumping back in. It's evening now. It's been all day trying to record this video, but it's halftime now. It's a pretty even matchup here. We got a chance to get back in this game. We got to play better. We haven't done our best. Let's see if we can turn it around in the second half. We are going to open up with the ball, which is really going to help us out in that. Let's get away. Oh, my gosh. I didn't want to return that. That was a terrible decision. Tyler Thorne checks into the game. We're going to pull it in. Dude, it's not working. Stirred down in 12. We're not playing well here. Let's take the shot. I think Wiley won, and we just missed. We can't get an accurate pass. Following a penalty on the punt return, they, we got called for kick catch interference. They're in great field position here. They're likely at least to get three. Hopefully, somehow, we can stop them here as French is feeling pressure. And that's a sack. Big play. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure at first if he got that ball out of his hands. French feeling no pressure, checking it down. Make the tackle, that's all I care. Considering the field position they had, giving up just two yards on this drive and forcing him to settle for three is okay with me. It's not ideal to go down by two scores, but that's best case scenario. The kick's up and he drills it. It's 20-10 now. Let's see what we can do. We're going to go to Baisley out there. That should be an easy completion. First down. First and 10, we're going to look to pass here. We're going to take a deep shot. That didn't work. I let it the wrong way. I probably should have just run the ball there. That's what we're going to do here to Bennett Galloway. Galloway is going to show some toughness, get eight yards. Third down and two. Let's see if we can get the first down. We're going to go. Oh, he's not going to get there. That was so close, but we're going for it. We're going to go with the QB run, get the first down. We got to keep this drive going. So every now and then we got to do what's best for us. Let's take the deep shot. I don't see anything else open. Let's see if we can win. That's a big play. Caleb Gross touchdown. There's a flag, though. We got to wait and see what that is. Pass interference. We're going to take that touchdown, Warhawks. French looking to pass. We're sending a little pressure, and it didn't matter. Oh, I thought O'Malley could have picked that. He just never looked for the ball there. He would have been able to pick it. He was on the. He was trailing the other guy, and if he'd have just looked, he'd have had that. What a play. What happened there by Darasaw? That was, like, supersonic to get in the backfield. Third down and 12. Just got to get him off the field here. French steps up. And we get the stop. Fourth and one. Big play, O'Malley. First and 10, looking to pass. We're going to go to Baisley on the curl, and he just bounced it to him. Third down and eight. We need to just launch a pass and hope something good comes of it. And it does. Caleb Gross. First down, Warhawks. That's what we've been looking for. Third down and six here. That's Wiley getting the reception. It's fourth and short. We're going for this. It's a risky call, but it's the right call. We're going to go to Galloway, and we can't block, dude. Perez gets blown up. MJ Stroud made the play for the Eagles. That's that's frustrating, man. That hurts. We had a chance there. I didn't want to go back to the QB draws. That's knocked out. I felt like keeping the drive alive twice with it, and you know, one possession was kind of cheesier back-to-back -back possessions so i went to a different play and it just didn't work man play action by jc french feeling pressure down he goes sean washington and austin ack will get the sack i'll say this oh the little break i took here throughout the day has really helped our defense play a lot better here and appears as we go down the field that's an interception that's what we needed that's christopher robinson he's got blockers oh he ran into a guy that i thought was blocked i just i feel like we can get more if we had other guys out there since lester iverson Making a man miss, getting the first down. I do think he could be our better option from the gun, but, you know, it's just hard. I got to give the carries to Galloway. He's the better player, and he just doesn't produce all the time. That's a difficult part about the job sometimes is you got to make decisions that don't seem right to you. As you go to Iverson, he's got the speed. Andy sh shakes that guy off and gets the first down. That is going to end your third quarter, though. It's 2017. We're driving. We're headed down in a good spot here. First and 10 here. Let's go to Galloway. Easy completion. That's going to bring up second and short. We're going to go back to Galloway. Galloway, he didn't juke. I wanted him to juke and cut in that hole. Third down and one, and I got an audible to the same play we just ran, and that works perfectly, baby. We're in the end zone. Touchdown, UL Monroe. We're finally in the lead of this one. It's been a long time coming. I think we're the better team, though. Got to play better the rest of the way here, though. Keep it going. It's French. Oh, no. How do we take the lead and then possibly give up a touchdown on next play? Robinson chases him down, makes the tackle, but what are we doing? They're going to line up in the pistol, but we totally screwed this situation up. They're probably going to go to the ground here. 
If I was them, I would. That's what they do. And we are not going to get him down on the ground. We eventually do. I think it's McGuire's his name. Downside of recording a video all throughout the day. You do kind of forget guys' names. Is that's a quick bubble out there. And we left them open. That's a touchdown. We're already losing again. Got to do better. We're going to stay right in the same formation. Go basically right to the same play and hit Baisley. Nice play. game. Third down one. I'm not running against this formation. Play action. Hit him underneath. That's Caleb Gross with nobody over there. He's up to the 50, 40, 30. He's down to the 21 man to beat, and he couldn't juke inside on him. That's a big play, though. We're down in the red zone. What a play by Caleb Gross and Don Baumhauer. They both recognized it, and they made that play happen. We're going to go to the ground here on this RPO. There was nothing out there to throw. Galloway picks up three. Second and seven, Baumhauer from the gun. We're going to go out to Baisley. Nobody's on him. And we're not going to get first down. I thought we'd get that. Third down and two. Don't love the call here, but we're going to give it to Galloway and let him show himself. And he proves it worth it. First and goal. 6-12 left in this game. First and goal here. Looking to pass. We're going to throw it out there. Go to the flats. Hit Perez for a couple. Not the greatest play, but we tried it. We're going to go to the bubble here. And we dropped it. We had a touchdown there. And yes, I do realize that was a jailbreak screen, not a bubble. I just misspoke. As we're going to throw that and we should enough. All right, let's see if we can hit this field goal. This is a difficult angle to kick from. The kick is up, and we drill it. We tie this one up. We got plenty of time. We just got to stop them. I'm okay with allowing three, but we can't allow seven. They're looking to pass here, second down. We're just running cover two. Let them get that. It's third and short. Let's take a chance here. We're going to blitz them, and we're going to press them. So if it's a pass, hopefully we can disrupt it enough to get our guys in there on the blitz. It's not a pass. It's a run, and we do hit him, and we stop him. That's what we needed right there. Straight up, I'm okay with the rest of this drive, taking all the clock if I can get it to. We're going to go to Lester Iverson. Nice run. Right back to Lester Iverson on the wide zone. He's got a lot of space here. Iverson, one man to beat. Ah, uh, he couldn't juke him out. We tried, but he couldn't do it. Going to the gun here, up around midfield. We're going to go to Bennett Galloway, and, dude, he, he did nothing. This is a huge third down and seven here. We can't get it. I have a pit in my stomach from punting that ball. But we're going to try to stop him here as French is on the move. He checks it down. Short gain. I feel okay about that. We're going to try to get another playoff before the two-minute timeout, it looks like. It's going to be a run, and we blow it up, Emmanuel Hawkins. All right, I feel pretty good here coming out of the two-minute timeout. Third down and eight here. Let's see if we can stop him. French feeling pressure. French goes backwards and takes a sack. Hawkins is going to close this game out again for us, man. What a play. Been at 39 left. All we need is three. Let's get ourselves in field goal range. We're going to go underneath. That's nearly picked. He broke on that very quickly. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to go to the ground. Benny Galloway finds some space up the middle. Big third down and four here. We're going to go out there. I think we've won. That's a nice catch by Wiley first down. Just over a minute left in this game when we snap it. We're going to go to Wiley. I think he won. That should be a catch right in between him, and he dropped it. you got to make that play, man. I don't trust J.J. Harrell anymore, man. He's just not making the plays that we need as we go underneath, and Wiley drops it. Come on, man. Third down and 10 here. We're looking to pass. We're going to Baisley. Can we get it to him? We do first down, keeping this drive going. That's the play we needed here. Baumhauer looking to pass. We got him open. No, we don't. We just threw a freaking pick. With Don Baumhauer. Are you kidding me? That's probably going to lose this That's been game for us. I'm so pissed off right now. I'm sorry for the language. French feeling a little pressure. Down he goes. Washington makes the play. We're going to call a timeout. If there's any shot we can get this ball back, I'd love to here. Second down, Nate. We're going to get pressure in there. Check down. Go out of bounds. Third and 10. Please give us a stop here. That Give us one more shot to correct this mistake. Come on, French has all day. He checks it down, fourth and four. He goes out of bounds, too. 31 seconds in a prayer here. Let's hit J.J. Harrell. If he's open, he can't hold on, man. He sucks. Let's get him out of here, then, in that formation as we're going to go to Basley. Ooh, there we go. He can hold on and make the play. 21 seconds. We basically have, like, two or three shots of this. Looking to pass here. We're going to take the deep shot. I think Caleb Gross won, and it got spotted down. Second and 10, looking to pass. We got Bay. No, we don't have Baisley. Yes, we oh, he dropped it. I really thought we had him there looking to pass now. There we go, Baisley. You dropped that? I swear this game's fucking rigged. Look at that, wide open. That's a 
fucking game-changing play right there. Damn, I'm sorry for my language, but what the fuck? Well, now we just gotta chuck it up and hope for a prayer. I doubt anything good will come out of this. We- we got it, but Wiley can't- has to lay out that we could've just won it there. We're stuck going to overtime now. Here's the overtime rules if you guys haven't ever seen them before. I doubt any of you guys haven't, but there's a clear look at them. We chose heads. We're gonna take defense first. We won the coin toss. Alright guys, I think this is our first overtime game. Not of the entire series, but definitely with UL Monroe. We might have had one other one in the series. Or a couple, but this is the first one where we're actually playing as the whole team. As What happened there? First and goal here. They're going to go to Magruder on the ground, and Magruder is going to go in. Two plays in the touchdown. Looking to pass here to begin this drive. Got Caleb Gross on the sideline first down. Both of our backs are feeling some injuries, so I do think we have to be smart and maybe avoid using them a ton as that goes nowhere. That's not to say they shouldn't be used, but I feel like we just kind of kind of pick our spot here. What is... Why do you stop? Here's the thing. We got two downs to convert here. So here's one of them spots I want to go on the ground. Get the yardage we can. Fourth and five. This right here is your ball game. We got him. Nobody's on Galloway, baby. Touchdown. We're going to take our chance of going to the second overtime. I almost went for two, but it just doesn't feel right. I genuinely have a pit in my stomach here, and that's why I didn't... Oh, that's going to be a good play to Beasley. Nice play, Joe Baisley. First and goal already. One play. Going to the other side. Going to Bennett Galloway. Galloway couldn't find much. Baumhauer looking to pass here. He's going to step up, navigate the pocket, and touchdown. He got us in there. All right, you got to go for two now. Let's see what we got here. We're going to call the drag. We get it, baby. 42-34. Let's stop him. I really would love to avoid going to triple overtime as J.C. French takes the field. We sent a blitz and it didn't matter. They just burned us right up the middle for a one-play touchdown. What the freak? Two-point conversion time. That's all comes down to this. They're going to hand it off to Magruder. And Magruder stopped. We walk out of here with a victory. The Warhawks win in double overtime, baby. What a finish in this game. We move our record up to three and four. This is the victory we needed. We got a good one next week that I think we can win against James Madison as well. I feel pretty good about getting back to 500. I, this keeps us on track for our bowl game. Baumhauer did not play good in this game. He got player of the game, but he made a lot of mistakes, man. If you look at stats-wise, we absolutely dominated him. But we had two turnovers to their one. Both of them, of course, were interceptions. And that's the thing. We can't have that. Two touchdowns, two picks. He threw for 471 yards. He only hit 53% of his passes, though. On the ground, we were pretty bottled up. Iverson did some good things, but he got hurt late, so I didn't want to lean on him too much. Caleb Gross had himself a day. 227 yards on nine receptions. What a day, young man. That's incredible. Taking a look at our defense, it's Leonard Harris leading the way, and along with Christopher Robinson in tackles. Four TFLs for Harris as well, man. He had himself a great day from the secondary. Run defense was awesome. Emmanuel Hawkins had a good day with two sacks, and a pick as well came from Christopher Robinson. J.C. French was actually pretty good. Hit 78% of his passes, four touchdowns. We got a pick off of him. On the ground, we absolutely dominated him. Bynum had more uh, success than their starter, and they probably should have leaned on him a little bit more, but for whatever reason, they chose not to, and we're okay with that. It helped us come out of here victorious, which is something that we needed to keep our quest getting bowl eligible going. This was a good team last year, but they really, really took a step back this year. Two weeks in a row, man. Emmanuel Hawkins is the Sunbelt Defensive Player of the Week with three tackles, three TFLs, and two of them being sacks. That's incredible. Taking a look at our recruiting board, honestly, nothing changed. This wasn't a big week. We upped our points on Hazelwood that we had, brought him up to 50. TCU jumped into the race, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to get him, but as a gem, I won't be honest with you, we're going to keep pushing for him. Despite a very up and down game from Don Baumhauer, I'm pretty happy with how that game ended up. Next week, though, we got James Madison, and this is a critical game. It could get us back to 500, and if they win, they're going to get back to 500. But I think if we get back to 500, we're going to be on track to hit a bowl game and maybe get our threshold up just enough to where them recruits that have us locked out will allow us back in. That's the hope. I'm not 100% sure, but that's certainly the goal. 
We're the better team, though. I think we should be able to beat the Dukes. Is there a chance that they surprise us? Yes, but I honestly don't think it's going to be a problem. If we lose this game, I will be surprised. This should be a good win for our program, and we're going to be able to keep building, get back to 500, and feel a whole lot better because at times this season's been frustrating. We've had far too many turnovers from the quarterback position. I don't think we have a good enough player there, and honestly, I'm not sure if I have a good enough player in recruiting. We got some guys that are good prospects, but I'm a little worried about their ceiling being a lot like Tyler Thorne, and if they don't improve their accuracies, they're not going to be worth a darn, but we had a good game. We just came off a good victory, a double overtime win. We're feeling good. I don't want to get negative. Baumhauer played all right, and I truly do appreciate this victory, and I appreciate all the support on the channel. I do want to say I'm recording this right before Hurricane Helene's supposed to hit Florida. Right now, we're still kind of waiting to see where it's actually going to hit. I might be able to record another episode beforehand, but you probably won't see this till after. Either way, I just want to say since I'm on camera now, it's going to be out after, but I hope everybody stays safe. Wishing everybody the best here. I live in Levy County and... We're expecting some pretty big storm surge, especially in Cedar Key, and they just dealt with a big fire down there that took out a lot of old restaurants and a lot of places that are really beloved. Now they got a hurricane coming through. I just feel for the guys and, and the girls down there and the businesses, and I really hope that somehow they manage to avoid the worst of it, and they come out looking pretty good. And I, you know, the rest of the Floridians out there, it's going to be bad for somebody, but I just pray you guys find a way to get through it and come out better on the other side. So that's how I want to end this episode. I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll be back with more UL Monroe soon. I'm out.